really, really interesting to watch, kind of move around and walk around. Of course, now they're all trying to attack my shoes. These are the aptly named macrotermies, which means giant termite. Man, he actually really got me. Those mandibles are freaking sharp. I'm gonna let one bite me. We're gonna see how it is. My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and dangerous animals. My goal? To show the world that even the most bizarre life forms on Earth deserve respect and appreciation. In today's video, we're venturing into the dense jungles of Southern Thailand with hopes of finding one of the largest and most impressive termite species in the world, Macrotermes carbonarius. From what I can tell, the soldiers of this species are among the largest in the world and are equipped with an impressive arsenal of sharp, curved mandibles and massive jaw muscles. I'm hoping to not only observe these interesting insects in their natural habitat, but to test the bite pressure of these massive soldiers as well. Now let's go find some giant termites. Okay, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today I'm in southern Thailand, and I'm looking for a personal favorite of mine uh, to encounter here. Um, the amazing, the very interesting Macrotermes carbonarius. Uh, these are huge termites um, that they come out and they actually forage at night, uh, which is super interesting. Huge extensive trails as they kind of find organic material to break down and bring back to their colony. So hopefully we can find some. Maybe we'll even test the bite power of one of the gigantic soldiers. Um, but uh, you'll just have to stick around and wait and see if that's something that we do. So without any further ado, let's see if we can uh, keep our eyes peeled and look around for a big old foraging colony of macrotermies. Let's go. These termites are active foragers that will venture significant distances to collect dead plant material to bring back to their colony. These termites create a symbiotic relationship with a fungus they culture within their nest and they feed it this material. Generally, once this fungus matures, the termites will consume it and then begin culturing a new fungal growth in its place. It's so extremely fascinating. Oh, oh man, there's so many of them right here. Okay, perfect. Okay, folks, take a look right here. Let's see if I can pick this up while they're all on it. Ow, 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 ow. Soldier's pinching me, pinching me. See him, oh wow, he's like twisting his head around. That's pretty freaking gnarly. These are the aptly named macrotermies, which means giant termite. These guys are one of my favorite things to come across here in the jungles of Thailand. Um, because really, at home in the States, you don't get too many uh, kind of foraging termite species quite like this. So these ones come out at night. You can see that they've just made extensive trails through the forest. And they find all sorts of wood and leaves and, and organic material to kind of bite off pieces. Now, this genus Macrotermes does something really, really cool and unique. Not at all unlike ants from the genus Atta and Acromyrmex. A lot of these termite species will actually cultivate a fungus that they grow inside their colony, just like some species of ants do. So they actually break off pieces of organic material and they actually will bring that back to the nest in order to kind of facilitate a symbiotic relationship with this fungus, and that's what they're actually feeding on. Now, this species in particular, I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. They may also be cultivating a fungus, uh, but they're picking and 
taking chunks and chunks and chunks of organic material back into their nest. And they're absolutely everywhere. There's trails all through the forest all night of these animals who are primarily stuck underground during the day, during the warmer hours of the day. And they come out when it's nice and cool and humid, and it facilitates a perfect environment for them to come out and forage for food to bring back to their colony, to bring back to their nest. Now, I absolutely love termites. They're such interesting insects. And despite being fairly similar to the layman's eye to ants, are actually not closely related at all. Termites are actually in the order Blattidae, which is the roaches. And they're in the family, or suborder, I should say, Isoptera. And those are the actual termites, the wood feeders. Now they can live in a variety of ecosystems and they are pivotal members of the ecosystems to which they belong. These animals can provide a countless and priceless resource of food for a variety of other organisms. Things like aardvarks, anteaters, uh, echidnas, um, pangolins. There's entire ecosystems built on the food that can come from these animals, which is so, so, so fascinating. And part of their success is that during certain times of the year, these animals send out millions of elates, winged male and female reproductives to start new colonies. In fact, we've actually been privy to some uh, termite flights this uh, trip. In fact, my cameraman Gage had his little, um, uh, how should I say, his, his little hostel um, become absolutely full of termites. And I'll show you that clip right here. For some reason, thousands of termite elates erupted into my cameraman's room. We still don't even know why. Now, I really, really also like just the drastic difference between the workers and the soldiers of this species. I believe this species is Macrotermes carbonarius, uh, which is one of the larger and prettier, uh, in my opinion, of the gigantic termite species that you can encounter here in Southeast Asia. They're so interesting. You can see the little workers running by with food in their mouths while the soldiers have these huge mandibles just raised in the air, defending the workers from all sides uh, from attack. They're such amazing animals and they work so well as a small little society here uh, to work together to raise their young, to get enough food, to cultivate the fungus if that's actually what they're doing. Uh, they're just such interesting animals, and it's always so interesting to see them kind of bring the work outside of the nest. A lot of people think, oh, termites, you know, they build those big mounds out in Africa, or maybe you flip a log and there's a colony under there. You don't get to see them very often, uh, but there are plenty of species that will actually actively come out and forage for food just like this. And then you get to see just how vast the, the workers are um, in some of these unsuspecting colonies. Some of these colonies can just be little holes in the ground and then thousands of termites spill out of them at night, uh, which is just so interesting to see. Um, not only are these a gorgeous kind of matte, glossy black um, color with some amazing accents, but uh, they're just really, really interesting to watch, kind of move around and walk around. Of course, now they're all trying to attack my shoes because um, I'm standing right in the middle of them, but you can see big work, oh, big soldier there. And then compared to just the normal size soldiers and then the workers here, which lack those large mandibles. But they're so interesting. They do this little thing too where they communicate with each other by kind of tapping on the leaves and shaking their bodies, uh, which is really, really cool because when you get a lot of them in leaf litter, you can actually hear them moving. It just sounds like a or like a, almost like rain falling on leaves. Uh, which is super, super interesting because you think they're so small, how can they make such an impact? Um, but that's just it. These animals make such a huge impact on their ecosystems. And even though they might be out of sight uh, for you, 
Um, they can't be out of mind for us because these animals are pivotal members of their ecosystems. Uh, without creatures such as termites, uh, entire ecosystems could and very likely would uh, collapse. Uh, they're a great source of food. They're amazing at cleaning up the forest floor and taking care of old logs and leaf litter and branches. Um, and uh, they just provide countless ecological services. So they're so, so, so cool. I'm gonna let one bite me. We're gonna see how it is. Ow, 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 ow. Look at that, ow, ow, ow. He's definitely breaking the skin there. Ouch. Oh my gosh, another one almost got me. Ow. Okay, okay, you win. You win, I'll leave your colony alone. Ow, ow. Look at that. All that for a drop of blood. <laughs> you know, <laughs> man. He actually really got me. Those mandibles are freaking sharp. Sharp, I say. But uh, they don't inject any venom, of course, but uh, that's that's impressive for such a tiny thing. I mean, that guy's like a centimeter long, um, and he was able to pierce through my hide. So um, he's, he's, he's rightfully defended their colony, um, so I think I'll move on. I'll let him think that they've won. Um, so we're going to wrap up our time here with these beautiful macrotermies. So I just wanted to thank you all once again for tuning in today. I hope you learned something about these really, really interesting and unique uh, termites. I know that that seems like such a weird thing to come onto the channel and learn about, but uh, like most things, uh, I believe that uh, every animal has a purpose and a reason for being here. And I want to showcase that uh, with you all. Uh, termites aren't just these destructive, horrible things that get into your house and ruin it. Um, they are really important creatures uh, that uh, have always had a purpose and uh, served ecological roles here on the planet that we benefit from. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Of course, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any future posts and uploads. Uh, join our channel memberships and Patreon for exclusive behind the scenes content and as a way to support your favorite YouTube channel. Uh, buy the merchandise. It's pretty sick. It's pretty dope. Um, and of course, tune in next time. Um, I've got tons of new content coming your way. Lots of awesome and amazing stuff. Um, I'm working hard to put out all sorts of cool stuff for you guys at home. So uh, be sure to keep your eyes peeled for that. So thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.